A very good day to you people. My name is Mohitan guys. Today I'm going to teach you about the position property in uh, CSS. Now this position property uh, is can either be static which is the default. When it's not defined it's static guys. Could be absolute, could be relative or could be fixed or could even be inherit. Okay. So this is a very important topic guys that most guys that I come across do not understand. Most of my students have a, a lot of confusion out there and uh, most of the web developers, web designers that I meet on a daily basis do not quite understand what is the exact difference uh, between these four or five uh, positions. So the position property, that's what we're going to discuss today. So let me start. Let me say create new HTML file guys and then first things first, let me get in a picture. So I'm going to say insert image. Okay. I'm going to pick up this image. I'm going to skip the alternate text. We're going to focus only on the position right now. Right. Let me save things up. Uh, let me call it. Let me say save. Let me say position property. Right. And then guys, let me click on the image. Let me click on this plus button out here where it says new CSS rule. Okay, guys, notice I'm in the classic workspace. And I'm using Reviewer CS 5.5. It's okay if you're using version 4 or 5. Uh, that's absolutely all right. So I'm clicking on this plus button to generate a new CSS rule. Then I'm going to drop the contextual selector to a tag. Uh, basically, I'm redefining the way the images should appear. Right. So the selector name will apply your rule to all image elements, which is fine. I'm going to say okay. Right. And now, guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go straight to the positioning category, right? And uh, see, guys, there's nothing out here. I'm going to make it static. Whether you mention it or not, whether you mention something in the position space or not, it's actually static, which is the default. Not defined is static. And uh, then I'm going to straight away say, okay, okay. L in fact, let me go back and go back to the positioning. Let me also give it a 20 pixels off top and a 20 pixels off <coughs> left positioning. Let me say, okay, go to the live view. Guys, do you actually think that those 20 pixels has actually made any difference? Uh, in, in fact, it's not. The, the default space that you see out here, the white space is actually uh, would have been there even if it was a zero. Let me show it to you. Even if it were let's say a zero out here okay and a zero out here things do not change things are just the same so when you set the position to a static no matter what value you put it uh, put out here even if it were a 2000 you can notice uh, there is no change at all You're right so let me uh, reset it back to the way it was 20 each okay so basically uh, the whole point is when you're using the position property guys uh, and it's set to static the positions left right top button do not actually work okay that's a lesson understood well now let's see what will happen if i change the static to let's say a relative okay if you had noticed out here guys okay let me show it to you again so that's a static and that's a relative Okay, so the moment I switched to a relative, it moved 20 pixels left and uh, right and uh, the bottom, towards the right and towards the bottom by 20 pixels each. So it moved from where it was relative to where it was originally. Okay, not from the top and the left edges of the body, but from where it was. Cool let me make it absolute okay so you must have seen the shift so basically now it's 20 pixels each from the top and the left of edge of the web page not from where it was but uh, the edge of the web page or the body cool so that is the difference between a relative and an absolute see when you're setting something to absolute if the also notice guys if the containing parent if the containing parent right now it's a body if it's either relative or an absolute then it moves 20 pixels then it would have moved 20 pixels from the top left of the container body or the parent body 
okay if it were a relative or a uh, a, a fixed or uh, yeah or an absolute so it would have moved uh, otherwise it will move it uh, move from the you know 20 pixels from the edge of the body the the parent basically okay so that's absolute for you and let me change it to uh, fixed basically you don't see any difference at all but what happens here when you use the position to be fixed let's say 20 pixels uh, each from uh, the left and the top basically the left and top of edges of the the screen or the body okay the monitor let me show it to you in the browser google chrome after saving the changes right so it's fixed at 20 pixels each from the edges of the web page okay but guys if you scroll the page if you scroll the page and you keep uh, an element position fixed it will not scroll with the page with a vis if you were to keep it absolute and there was a lot of stuff on the page it would scroll off the page when you scroll the page if it's a long page the element which is position absolute will scroll off but something which is position fixed will never ever uh, it'll always be cemented at that uh, left 20 top 20 position always okay so that's a big a major difference between absolute and fixed and let's say uh, if i were to keep it inherit <coughs> Now, the moment I went to inherit, it's basically uh, saying that inherit the properties of the parent element, which is nothing but the body. The body has not been given any uh, uh, position. So nothing means static. So basically, it, saying inherit is uh, the same as saying uh, static. So it doesn't make a difference. Even if I were to say static, it doesn't make a difference at all. So basically inherit means inherit uh, the property from the parent. So whatever is the property of the parent, please use it up. Since the parent, which is the body actually, nothing else, um, it will not inherit anything at all. Right. So that's one major difference between, um, uh, you know, all these different uh, positions. Okay. Now let's, let's uh, make it even more easier for you to understand. Let me come with the live view. Uh, let me click out here okay notice the position is right now set to static let me get an, another picture to make us uh, to make things easier for us to understand let me get in uh, this thumb skipping the alternate text let me go to the live view okay see the position is right now static so uh, actually the 20 pixels each does not really matter when it's static the the positions that you set for left top uh, bottom right do not actually matter as we had seen now let me change this static to a relative okay so basically both the pictures shift themselves 20 pixels each from where they were i'm going to change it to absolute okay see what has happened uh, what actually happened here was uh, both pictures are now 20 pixels each from the left top of the web page left top corner of the web page so basically they they jump over each other obviously and uh, that is the way the positioning absolute works okay let me set it to inherit um, inherit is uh, inheriting it from the parent the parent is the body the body does not have a position property so basically it means nothing nothing means static and uh, static does not honor the left and the top positions so they they are reset okay so guys i hope this tutorial has conveyed how you can apply different positions uh like static which is uh which is the default whether you you define something or not it's always static it could be relative it could be fixed or it could be uh yeah yeah let me check fixed as well uh there we go okay so again when you keep it fixed so it's fixed at 20 pixels each from left top corner of the page but they superimpose themselves over each other they would obviously but uh, when you scroll the page they will not scroll off with the page when it was set to absolute they will scroll off with the page that's a major difference okay guys so i i hope i conveyed the message well and i hope to see you very soon with yet another reviewer or flash tutorial you have a very good day guys bye bye peace